Spring is less than a month away and this is when most of us start adding colors back in our wardrobe. It is also time to wear thinner materials but not yet shorter garments. While it may be immature to talk about spring wardrobe, we do need a little bit of time to reevaluate our lifestyle and plan or shop accordingly. But no matter what your lifestyle is, having classic pieces in your wardrobe will ensure that you can wear them for years to come. In today's video, I am sharing with you 10 classic spring pieces that you can mix and match to your liking. White button up is the most classic. I want to take it up a notch with this crisp blue striped shirt. It is poplin cotton so it doesn't wrinkle as much, retains shape better, and is definitely more interesting. When it comes to this type of top, I generally go for a larger size so I can double as a thin jacket over white tank, bodysuit or t-shirt or just wear it by itself to rock that oversized look. You can borrow from your husband, boyfriend or significant others if you don't have one already. I assume most guys have a striped button up in their closet somewhere. If you are bored with your typical white button up, a pastel color is an excellent choice for spring. Think of Easter if you want a striped one with a feminine touch. This is lovely. I would wear this with my dark denim jeans and tan heels for a dressed up look. For a smart look, pair with a black blazer and black pants. Blazers are typically boxy and in black tend to look serious. The bow on the top Blaze it down but still looks professional. You can tie it to the side if you prefer a side bow. You can wear this to an interview during the day. Then change into white sneakers for a playful, youthful look after work. Although sweater dresses are more often worn in the winter, you can wear them in the spring when it is still chilly. A gorgeous one like this needs to be on display without outerwear and will be thick enough to keep you warm on a date night. <laughs> Looks like I am cradling a baby bump here, but I am just holding in my fat belly. If you are in need of a shape, this will give you that hourly figure we all want. Sweater dresses are typically either too bulky or too unflattering. This is perfect from Paddle and Pub. Check out their store if you want to update your wardrobes with pretty dresses. From the v-neck to elongate your body to the sexy slits on the side and the belt that cinches your waist, this is a great buy and is currently on sale. Don't forget the stay each olive color that will look good on anyone. After these two years wearing mostly sweats, I have converted to more comfortable alternatives. So these chinos fit the bills. I love them so much, I bought five pairs when they were on sale. While these are cropped, they are not too cropped that you feel like you are treading water. They are slightly flare, which is more interesting. These tend to stretch, so I usually go for a size smaller. These are soft, much more comfortable than jeans and less casual than jeans. The question is, uh, what can't you wear with off-white chino pants? You can definitely wear with the same striped shirt or striped shirt with a bow, white t-shirt for a tonal look, black t-shirt for a contrast. Throw on a third piece like this black blazer to look more edgy and sporty in your white sneakers. Stop looking like homeless person at home y'all. Most of us throw on whatever mismatched clothes and be comfortable because no one sees you. Well, your significant other does and so do your children. My husband used to call me homeless dearingly and I agree with him. No more. These are the spring version of sweat sets that I wear in the winter. They are chic, made of cotton linen blend, but they look more like linen. You know I am obsessed with linen. The color is so flattering but can look washed out from head to toe. So I would wear with my two-tone bags like this one if I choose to go out when it is warm enough during the day and still feel put together in them at home. The ties in the back make them look less boring. You can pair with black culottes like these and slides if you want to be more versatile. In case you didn't know, flats are making a comeback. Being short as I am, I often find subtle ways to trick the eyes into thinking I am taller. So it is no surprise that I choose pointed toe ones. And without going overboard with colors, I favor these with contrast trimming. If you are looking for a great dupe of Rothy's, these are amazing for half the price by Vivaya. They are more dressed up than sneakers, less casual than heels, and do a good job making your feet feel comfortable. And at the same time, hiding those toenails that you have neglected in the winter. 
They are also machine washable, and I am all about low maintenance anything. They go really well with ankle length bottoms or midi skirts. This is a must-have item in your wardrobe. It doesn't matter what size or height you are. Having the right trend is always stylish and classic. A neutral kind of girl will love it with a pair of black jeans, white tee, and kitten heels. While somebody like me favors a more casual comfort chic with my tonal combo to the park or an afternoon stroll to my favorite coffee shop, you can wear a hoodie or blazer under your twin to add warmth, switch out to a graphic tee with meals, and don't forget the classic striped shirt with it too. I am really into oversized trends lately and have been eyeing on one from Mango. This is one investment you will not regret. Whether you choose a more structured midi skirt to keep your junk in the trunk or a loose one on a bad belly day, they are essential for spring when you want to feel more feminine but want more options to wear with different tops than a full dress, for example. Any t-shirt or button-up will work with a midi skirt for a casual wear and any silk or lacy top would do for a special occasion. If that's not versatile enough, you can shorten them at an alteration store when you are tired of the same look. I choose a midi skirt because it works with more occasions, especially in springtime when you may choose to wear boots with them. Longer skirts can be drowning on a petite person if you choose the wrong one. Cropped, long, or oversized blazers work all year round. They are a staple in most women's wardrobe and a good baseline for an outfit combination. Spring season calls for chicser alternatives to sweaters to keep you warm day or night. They can mean business, be edgy, or cool depending on how you style them. And they are spring favorites over your dresses when you want a bit structure and less casual feel. If you need to create a shape, wear a leather belt over it. If you are into oversized blazers, you don't have to spend money on a new one. Steal from your husband or boyfriend to rock that androgynous look. A pop of color like this one works if you tone it down with a more subdued piece. A neutral color gives you more options to style and a safer choice for any outfit or occasion. If I get stranded on an island, these would be the one I would grab. Jeans are a staple in everyone's wardrobe, men or women, and like a good denim jacket, like the wash denim, makes it look and feel less hot for the springtime when the weather starts to get warmer. These are called the perfect jeans for a reason. Sometimes there is a fine line between vintage and boho if you choose the wrong piece. These are high-waisted. You should definitely experiment with because they do tuck and hold everything in place but still are comfortable and flattering. They came rolled and have just the perfect length for me. They fit perfectly through the legs, hips, and are made of 100% cotton. Totally worth the price, but I would wait until they go on sale to buy them. Can you think of a skin tone that would not work with this color? This is a shirt dress by Cloth & Stone in size extra small. I am wearing it. This is a style that is very flattering for a lot of body types. First of all, it has front buttons all the way down and is very convenient to put on. It is made of tensile, not skin tight, and has slits on both sides, which is something you want to look for if you have a dress this long and don't want to feel restricted. My favorite part is the pockets. Surprisingly enough, they do not make me feel wider in the hips. I can totally dress it up and still feel comfortable. I think it would look so chic with a pair of Birkenstock, but I don't have one. Get the ideas though, your options are endless.